use tree as a form of life, representing life. Okay? Uh, a. Jane, he was the first one to kind of term graphology, which is really uh, getting to know about uh, drawing graphs and interpreting people's uh, pictures. It was really started in the 18 and mainly Sigmund Freud was uh, one of our fathers of psychology who really said, okay, you know, the clients that came to him for dream interpretations and he used to work with a lot of uh, they used to say that it's easier for me to draw my dreams than to convey it when you're drawing you cannot lie it's like handwriting analysis it's like enneagrams you cannot lie because it's coming straight from your subconscious okay so tree drawing is an excellent way to develop an understanding of the inner mind because the subconscious will automatically create the symbol and meaning that the inner mind understands and shows it in the form of a tree. Now, what are the um, now the other thing like recently in the 19 early 1900s just to go back a little bit on the history is what's going on right now is psychologist use a lot of the tree drawings for ch children's uh, intelligence and kind of their personality because kids as children what is the first thing we learn to do as one-year-olds we learn how to draw we don't know how to communicate but we can draw so the first things that we learn as children is draw so and psychologists and all have been using since the early 1939 um, I'm going to back up to one more slide, yeah, 1900s, early 1900s that they use a person, house, person, tree test, they call it. So it's, a, it's a interpreting their house, their tree and the person and they can tell instantly what their personality is like and what their issues are. So it is widely used by a lot of psychologists, especially in the child psychology area. And Serena Lemire was the first one in the 1980. She was the first one to actually put a registered trademark on this term, dendrographology. And she's the one who uses and defined it as the art of interpreting tree drawing. Okay? Now, like I just did for you guys, the first step if the client comes in, what are you to do? Okay, so client comes in, this is your, you know, first session with you, and I asked after just a little bit of briefing and talking to them, I say, okay, you know, the, one of the first things before you even fill out your uh, consultation form and your intake form, um, is it okay if you can just relax and, and draw me a tree? And it's just simple, just simple, straightforward instructions. That's the best thing. Don't give too much, do a little, nothing. I've never had a client who said, why am I doing this? And I tell them this is not a, you know, art test. It's just something fun and relaxing. So let's start with that. And nobody's ever had any problem if, you know, doing that. Uh, when you do it, so tell them, you know, relaxation number first, which we just did with you guys, and give them three choices: pen, pencil, and crayons or colored pencils, whichever one they either one of them work. Depending on the choice they pick, you'd know instantly also where is the state of their mind, um, you know, as far as change is concerned, which I'm going to go into the further. Number three, keep it simple. I do take that, tell them in the first session, take your time, but usually some people take five minutes. Some the analytical ones, they do this quickly, and they're two minutes and they're done. So you know also, okay, this person thinks of this, you know, I'm the analytical one. This is it. I don't have time for this. And number four, number four is take your time, number five is enjoy the process. Did you guys have fun drawing it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also, just to put that, I purposely put this one to avoid bi biases so that you can get an accurate um, tree drawing from your clients is say, say less, less gives you more in this circumstances and also about uh, that don't put t pictures of trees in your room, okay? Because if they're looking at that, then they will draw that. So I don't have, you know, pictures of something they would look at and draw it. Oh, okay, I don't know what my tree looks like. Let's copy this. So that's not a true interpretation, okay? 
choice of drawing tools. So if they pick a pencil, which actually none of you did or some of you did, um, pencil is basically saying that I'm willing to change. Okay, you can erase it, you can do whatever. Subconsciously, the client is telling you I'm willing to change. Okay, if they pick a pen, subconsciously, they're saying that, okay, I'm not ready to change at this moment in time. There's some work needs to be done. So instantly, I know when my analytical clients pick up the pen and they're drawing the tree, then I go more in depth with them and I'll say, okay, Kim, you know, what's going on or why, okay, if there are smokers, then I ask them, okay, are you giving up smoking because of yourself, the spouse, or the boss? You know, the whole um, industry, your whole office environment is going smoke-free, so they got to do it. It's not something they want to do it. It's because they're sent, or it's something they have to do, and they really inside, some sub subconsciously, they are not ready. So then when I get to find out, then I know I need to take another route for, or I personally say, you know, if you're not ready, let's not waste, you know, my time and your money. And I really put them down and I say, you know what, when you're ready to change for yourself, then come back and see me. Because that's when you're going to get the result. Isn't it all about when they're ready in our practice? So, and they say, oh, okay, or we go another route is thinking, okay, you know, come up with your own reasoning when, in your own mind, okay, is it health? Is it, uh, you know, uh, what are your own uh, belief system that you really want to do it for yourself? Okay, sorry. <laughs> crayons. Most of you picked crayons. And in our industry, 90% of the people do pick crayons because we are more expressive. We are, we use colors to, and colors, different colors have different interpretations as to what's going on in our lives. So, and we're more in that industry, in the healing industry, 90% of the people use colored crayons or pencils. So now that you've got the tree, okay, the client has drawn your tree. So my, my experience, and this is how I'm different from the rest of the people who've done this practice, is I look at the big picture. Okay, so take the tree and I look at, okay, what's the dominant thing that's really staring at you in that picture? What's more prominent? What's speaking to you loudly? Okay, and then I go micro to macro, meaning I go, okay, from the bottom up and put everything together to confirm my, you know, what I'm getting the feeling from the big picture. Okay, meaning um, if the person really draws a very vivid colored trees, so what's that color that's really vivid in there? Or they'll draw a really small tree. Then I'm saying, okay, this person is, you know, introverted or they're very cautious about what they want to do about everything in their life if they're a very small tree. So take the big picture and then work your way to confirm your big picture. It's like intuition. What are you really getting out of it instantly from their picture? And then go back, and then when you do from top to bottom, which I'm going to show you logically, work your way on the tree from the base all the way to tree top, and then you'll get a confirmation, okay, to everything. And you can do this instantly, okay? This doesn't really take time. Like in two, like you see it, it takes more, less than one minute to really go through it and scan it and say, okay, I know what's going on. All right. And to see the dominant uh, picture... I've categorized into four uh, different categories. The color choices they've used, the placement of the tree, and the size of the tree, and the lines, how dark and how light the lines are. And the, the, another good part of it is that different features confirm the same personality trait. It's not like one or the other, which I'll explain. So two or three things you see on the tree is confirming the same thing. That, okay, he's got self-esteem, self-confidence issue, you know, we need to work at. All right. I'm going to go quickly between the colors because it's going to take a while um, <laughs> to go through all the colors. But the colors are deeply explained or in detail in the book. Okay? So some of you have already bought.